be a today presented by PNC Bank. I'm Malika Andrews. And look, what a panel and a show we have for you. We have Richard Jefferson, Zach Loach, Chinea Gumake, and a very special guest, my friend Stephen A. Smith. In is the building. Building. What's going on, everybody? Can you say, we here? We here? He's we here. That's for here. sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be you know damned if it's we. Anybody else here? JJ yes. Reddick, that's a we. He's going to be here it stopping by in just a little bit. It ain't right. the Knicks. Right. You know who it might be, though, Stephen A. Is Brooklyn in the house? It yeah. might be the Nets because Ben Simmons, he was at Nets practice today. That in itself, that's not news. But what Steve Nash said afterwards, that might be some news. So let's hear from the Brooklyn head coach on the latest step in the Ben Simmons saga. Ben just did scripting and uh, shooting stuff today. What is he scripting? Is. Five on zero, uh, running through the plays. So he is. Is it fair to say he is not yet cleared for contact or one on one? Yesterday was his first day of contact. Yesterday was his first day of contact. Uh, played with some teammates yesterday, and uh, he's uh, yeah, he's making progress. But uh, there's no real update. We just uh, see how he responds and see if he's able to do more contact tomorrow. See how he responds, but he is playing four on four. He came through it well. And when he was asked about game two, Steve Nash said, no, no Ben Simmons. But beyond that, he wouldn't rule him out. So, Stephen A., you're our special guest. Big deal, little deal, no deal that Ben Simmons is playing four on four. Well, I think it's a big deal if he plays. If he plays, I think that the Brooklyn Nets have an opportunity to go to the NBA Finals. I think that if he can give you 15 to 25 minutes a game just playing defense, I don't expect him to shoot. We know that. I don't expect him to make free throws. We know that. But if he can. (laughs) He was working out with Kyle Kuzma. I don't care. I could care less. (laughs) If he can give you something defensively, I think that's what the Brooklyn Nets would need. I personally am sick of talking about him. I understand that mental health issues are a very, very big deal. Um, but the fact of the matter is there's a lot of people that question the legitimacy of that, filing a $20 million grievance to get your money back. And then on top of it all, you arrive in Brooklyn and you hurt your back. And as I said on first take a few uh, a week ago or so, what the hell were you doing? Did you did you hit a pothole on the Jersey Turnpike? Were there's a get, lot of them. Were, were you getting your groove on and you messed up your hips? What the hell was I'm that done. about? It's the truth. You haven't played since last June. What the hell were you doing? <laughs> and I don't ask that Richard Jefferson knows this. Zach Lowe knows this. You all know this. I don't get into people's personal life, personal business. I don't roll like that. It's none of my business. I'm talking basketball. But the exception would be a best of us. I want to know what the hell you were doing that you hurt your back from last June to this June when it went to this May round. You haven't done a damn thing. You haven't done anything. What were you doing? Somebody someday is going to tell me. All right. Well, then let's talk about the basketball side of it, because, Richard, you cover these nets on a yep. near daily basis. I'm sorry for the nets on that one. Yeah. But how is this going to play out on the court if he does return? Well, ultimately, the, if he plays and he, if he can come contribute, yes, what Stephen A. said, the defense. What I like about what he does is he can make the game easier for everyone else. That's what they're missing from James Harden. Kyrie is not a point guard. Kevin Durant is an elite, elite scorer, as is Kyrie. So to give them added responsibility of getting other people involved, that's where it becomes difficult. Could you imagine if KD gets two, three open looks because of Ben Simmons? Could you imagine if Kyrie is able to get a couple easy layups in transition because of the defense? Could you imagine if he's able to get Seth Curry an open look or two and allow KD and Kyrie to just be scores? That's what he's brought in. He's brought in to defend and facilitate, but I'm going to focus on the facilitate because we saw KD is having to work too hard for baskets. Kyrie always works hard for baskets. Yeah. KD just, <laughs> when, KD, when KD is shooting the shots that he is shooting at the end of the game consistently every single night, that is too difficult and too much of a task for any level of superstar. So I think that's what he could bring to the table. Janae, last word on this? You know, I don't know if this is appropriate for television, but when I was oh. at Stanford, okay, when I was at Stanford, my coach would always say, kiss, keep it simple, stupid. Right? When you're playing basketball, you don't want to think. Stupid's okay to say. Oh, you yes. said far worse. Okay. You said far worse. That's where the conversation commercial breaks. Right. And I think, like you said, Richard, it's all about how they're able to simplify and make things easier for everyone on the floor. Like you said, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, they work so hard and they're so great that they still finish baskets, double team, triple team. So yeah, making the game simpler over the course of the entire four quarters, I think that's going to be the game changer for him. Defensively, offensively, I mean, those things will be ironed out with a limited minutes situation, but he can really help them. Don't worry, we're going to have more on the Nets coming up later in the show.